G'day Off Trackers, welcome back to another video. So we're in Off Track HQ, which means it's another product review. What are we doing this week, Ash? We are looking at a battery of some sort. <laughs> so Ash is behind the camera this week, no Lloyd, Lloyd's off on a trip. So comment below, let me know which one does the better filming, Lloyd or Ash? Ash, who do you reckon is going to be better? Lloyd. <laughs> Yeah, I hate to say it, I think he will as well. He can do it more often than so This week we're doing the Hardcore 135 amp hour battery. What I'll basically do in this review, same as I do in all my other reviews, I'll give some information on the product and then I'll compare it against the other market leaders and that should hopefully show you why I picked this one over theirs. First off, let's get into it. So the amp hours, most important part of the battery information. So this is how much you can actually get out of the battery. So big thing to note, there's a lot of people out there saying that you can use 100% of a lithium battery. Not true. You want to sort of go about 80%. You can go a little bit lower. The further you push it, it does harm the battery a little bit. 80% is a good rule of thumb. Uh, and if you actually do use 100%, they don't fire back up when you charge them. So what these guys do that's really handy, you need a jump starter so or a reset sort of key. And these guys give it so this lifts up. That goes in there, then you push that button and you can actually get it to restart charging once you've got it plugged in. So handy little feature they give where, I don't know with other brands, if they don't give you that, how you actually jump start it if you take it to zero, maybe you're just not meant to take those to zero. So another cool thing to mention about Hardcore, their batteries actually, you can put a lot of them in series. So series all parallel. I've noticed a lot of the other guys sort of two, three is your maximum, where these guys you can actually do up to six in parallel and six in series. And as you can see, That'll give you 810 amp hours at 12 volt, or it'll give you a bigger voltage if you want it, 720, sorry, 72 volts at 135 amp hours. So really cool feature if you're trying to build a big battery bank. The main reason, well, one of the main reasons I went this is I like having Bluetooth. Uh, why, sort of for me, I like the peace of mind. I like being able to see all the data in front of me, what's being used. I guess I'm a bit anal, would you say that, Ash? <clears throat> Control freak. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I do like to know what's going on. And I think having a Bluetooth built into the battery is really handy. No having to run a shunt, Bluetooth shunt, uh, just makes life so simple. And it's a really good app. I'll chuck it up on the screen. As you can see, it gives you the amount of percentage that's left on the battery. It tells you the amount of amp hours that's left tells you if the battery is healthy or not, goes through all the cells, checks, gives you all that information, tells you how much current you're drawing. Only thing that could be a little bit handy to put on there would be at current usage, how much time is left on the battery. That'd be really nice to actually see. And I believe that's actually on their Bluetooth shunt. If you buy Hardcore's Bluetooth shunt, it actually does give you that. So it would have been cool for them to put that in this, but unfortunately they didn't. So next thing we'll move on to is the actual current draw. So this is really, really important when you're picking a battery if you're wanting to run 240 appliances off an inverter, the maximum draw that it can put out. So this one here can do 135 amps, which isn't too bad. There is some bigger ones out there, but as far as your main batteries, it actually sits really high. What that means is you can basically run, as you can run through the little pictures on the front, what can you run off it? You can run your kettle, microwave, the most important part, coffee machine, toasters, power tools, and a hair dryer. It doesn't say a hair straightener though, Dylan. <laughs> That's not very good for the girls. Now, one thing I want to point out, it's all good for them to say that it can run those things, but you have to make sure they're running at a low watt. So the maximum this battery in watts, so that way you can look at the back of the appliance and see how many watts it actually runs is 1,700 around there. It's a little bit more than that, but if you use 1,700 as your guide, so all your appliances can't constantly run at above that. Same with your inverter. You can put in a 2,000 watt inverter, 3,000 watt inverter. You won't be able to use that full 3,000 watts. 1,700 watt inverter is the maximum you can actually use off this. Still, that's really useful. You can, For them to put those appliances on there, it means you definitely can buy ones that are under that. Uh, so let's get into now, I'll chuck up on the screen, I've gone and I've compared this battery to all the market leaders in the main stats that you need to know. So 
the main things you actually want to know when you're looking at a Bluetooth battery, I should stop looking at your horses and pay attention. They got the head in the garden. That's all right, they can have their head in the garden. See, Lloyd's already better, doesn't get distracted with the horses. So the main things you want to look at is size. Bluetooth I've put in as an optional extra, I'm really a fan of Bluetooth, obviously the price. Then this is how you tell on a battery how good a quality they are. Maximum discharge, constant. Uh, your maximum charging rate, which is another really important one, how much you can actually put back into the battery to keep, to top it up. You have your working temperatures in, uh, in charging, and then same with your working temperatures discharging. And then your next really big one is your cycles. So this is how many times you can run the battery from full to flat. So it's basically the lifespan of the battery. The bigger the lifespan, the bigger the cycles, the longer that you'll get out of the battery. So I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly as there is a fair bit of information. So hardcore, you've got 135 amps of battery capacity. Bluetooth, yes. Price is around $1,189. Maximum discharge is 135 amps. Maximum charge is 67 amps, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, your charging temperature, zero to 55 degrees. Be careful if you're in Northern Territory in Queensland, you could get well and truly above those temperatures in your canopy or in your car. So it means when it's at that temperature, you basically won't be able to charge, uh, won't be able to charge the battery. Discharge, they've been a bit better, 60 degrees. So I'd like to hope nobody's canopy is getting to 60 degrees. And the massive win for these guys, 6,000 cycles at 80%. That's huge. Good luck using 6,000 6, cycles. Uh, and then five year warranty, which is really impressive. So next one we'll look at is the Kings. They only offer 120 amps. So you're down, what's that, 15 amps, uh, which is pretty massive. Bluetooth, no. You obviously will get theirs a fair bit cheaper, $499. Uh, the discharge actually isn't too bad, 120 amps. The maximum charging, they don't list it, so I probably wouldn't be pushing that more than 25 amps uh, going into the battery. The discharge temperature, zero to 50 degrees. Sorry for the charging. The discharging is minus 20 to 60, and you only get 2,000 cycles. So that's pretty expected for the money. You know, 2,000 cycles, you shouldn't complain about that. iTech World, so this is the one that Keelan runs in their caravan. Surprisingly, not a bad battery. So 120, you are down a little bit on capacity. Bluetooth, no. You will save a bit of money, $999. The maximum discharge current is 150 amps. So that's that's really good, I really liked that. And then the maximum charging is 60, so a little bit lower than the hardcore. This is where it gets impressive. Charging, you can charge it between minus five and 80 degrees. So North Queensland, Northern Territory, you should probably be looking at an iTech world. Discharge again, you can discharge it up to 80 degrees. So really, really good. Where it does let itself down is only 4,000 cycles. But I mean, you calculate that into days in the year, that's a hell of a lot of time to get through the 4,000 cycles. This is where it gets interesting. For those that have been following the channel, I used to run Enerdrive VTEX, and this will show you why I didn't repeat that. So again, only 120 amp hours. In the BTEC range, yes, you get Bluetooth. You'll be paying a lot more than this, around $1,745. This is where it gets very, very interesting. The maximum discharge is only 100 amps, but in brackets, at 25 degrees ambient and only for 30 minutes. So I don't know what happens after that 30 minutes, what you're allowed to discharge at. And if you're in Queensland, even northern New South Wales, you know, far north, good luck, Northern Territory, good luck, avoid Enerdrive because you just won't be able to use it. On to, uh, so then their charging temperatures is zero to 40. Uh, 60 amps is what you can actually charge it at. But again, that's in brackets, 25 degrees for 30 minutes. Uh, and only 2000 cycles, same as the King, so. If my choice was a BTEC for almost two grand or the Kings for, what was it, 499, go the Kings. Last one we'll look at is the Red Arc Pro. So again, very interesting, Australian made battery, but lots of smokes and mirrors. I couldn't find information anywhere online. It was a weekend as I grabbed all this data. 
So I'll give you what information I could find online in all the stores. So only 100 amp hours they offer, which is down from everybody else at 120 or 135 for this one. Bluetooth, no. You're gonna be spending around two grand to get the battery. Maximum discharge, 170 amps. That's actually really good. I've got to give them credit for that. Maximum constant charge is only 50 amps, so that's down. The charging temperatures, no information whatsoever. So I couldn't tell you what you can charge it in. That would be a little bit concerning to me. So if you're looking at a Red Arc battery and you live in Queensland, Northern Territory, make sure you check what you can actually charge it in. Uh, be, and also discharge it in because you may not be able to use it in the top of Australia. And then the cycles was really interesting. No information on the cycles of the battery and only has a two year warranty. So I'm assuming two year warranty, you're probably 2000 cycles, same as the Enerdrive, which is just appalling. So as you can see from that information, the reason I went this bad boy was it had the Bluetooth and really good figures. And the big one was it was 135 amp hours. So I have to say, guys, this battery has not let me down. It's coming up to a year that I've had it. I've had no faults, no nothing. I run it in the battery box, had no issues with their cheap battery box. I've run a fridge off it. I've run a whole bunch of appliances, inverter off it now, and it just doesn't let me go. The Bluetooth app connects to it every single time. I don't have any glitches on the app. So I've really got to give these guys a thumbs up for their battery and I can heavily recommend it to you guys. And I haven't been sponsored for this video. I pick and choose what I buy. And this is definitely a battery that I'll tell you to buy. Have I missed anything else, Ash? Nope, not that I know of. So that'll do guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. And what I'm actually noticing is a lot of you guys are sharing my videos. Keep doing that, it all helps. Uh, and watch as long as you can into the video. I've just learned a bit more about the algorithm and the longer you guys watch, and the less you skip the videos, the more it actually helps with my channel grow. And the thumbs up, all that's interacting, and that's what YouTube wants, is they want people to interact with the videos, and then they push it out to more people. So please interact as much as you can, and it'll really help the channel grow. Thanks, guys.